test this is another test GH4 with the Ninja 2 uh, kill that there um, we can't monitor it while it's recording so the Ninja 2 is really just a recorder uh, but we can still use the monitor here on the uh, GH4 flippy outy although it's blocked by a bunch of cables so it's just like not having a monitor Okay, so test number two, still on the 24 millimeter, and um, we now have the GH4 set to 4K, 4K output, but it automatically downscales to 1080p in the in the um, Ninja Two. 10-bit 422 ProRes HQ 1080p 24 frames per second cinema like V everything turned down the 4k crops in just a touch it crops in a little bit so that 24 millimeter is looking more like a 28 millimeter if you ask me Okay, so what is this recorder I keep talking about? This Ninja 2, it is a recorder, a video recorder. See, a lot of people don't know, is see the lens is what captures the light. It captures, it eats poops, <laughs> and breathes light, that's what it does. And it dumps it out onto the sensor that's in the camera. Now, this, when it gets to the sensor, there's a whole bunch of computers and processing that goes on with the computer and the camera uh, processors in the camera and then that information is guess what dumped is recorded onto a recording medium now that recording medium in the camera can only record so much information 8-bit colors 420 color space uh, I don't know I don't even think it's even 16-bit sound I don't know what the sound bit rate is but it's less than broadcast quality whenever you see something on television or something that's been put out uh, for broadcast, there's a certain standard in broadcast. In general, suitable for broadcast is more like 10 bit 422. And then in cinema, they were recording in raw 12 bit 444. Now, don't ask me about all of what that means because, quite frankly, I don't know exactly what it means. I know it has to do with the pixels. In the digital realm, things were a little different than it was in the old days with film. And so uh, the, the point is, I'm shooting a new film called Sugarfly. It's a movie where um, it you know, follows me you know, as I seek to build the perfect fly fishing boat for the, fly f for the Black Warrior River while fighting defe to defeat uh, diabetes. And that's my uh, goal with the film. Well, I wanted to record something more than just in-camera colors, in-camera sound, in-camera bit rates and all that because Although the GH4 records in 4K, when you looked at how stripped out the colors are, at least a third of the inf color information just thrown away, because they swear you can't tell the difference visually, which is, well, it's not true. Those who know what they're looking at can tell the difference. And um, I want to push the, I want to learn some color grading. I'm not a colorist. I don't see color the way colorists do but the very least I want to get some 3d Lutzes and put down over the footage so that it actually looks good it looks as good as it can and so with this little camera with the GH4 they gave it a 10 bit 422 uh, output that you can it will output a really high rate signal like that to an external recorder so I've been on the hunt for an external recorder really all of 2019 I had my sights on the Blackmagic Video Assist, but I didn't like the SD cards. And so I started looking at the Ninja recorders. I really wanted a Ninja Blade, but this little guy, this Ninja 2, 
does everything I wanted to do. There was a guy on eBay who had it for sale for like 75, 175 bucks. This thing would normally retail for about 300. I don't even think they make them anymore, although I may be wrong about that. Uh, they have the Ninja 5 out now that's replaced it. 10-bit 422. I know it's a little dark in here today, but I kind of like the natural lighting. Colors, 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 colors. And I want things to look kind of old school, vintage. Um, I may end up buying some books on color grading just so I can, you know, kind of try to begin to get my head around emulating classic film stocks of the past of yesteryear because I'm using Canon FD lenses which are old school lenses why not use a color look that's you know like what you found in yesteryear right now we're recording in ProRes LT just because it's YouTube and I'm just gonna go cinema like V to Rec 709 for those of you who know what I'm talking about this video is really for uh, Andrew, Ike, and uh, Guitar Hack over on the TubeBuddy forums, and uh, I asked, I was asking them, I'm thinking about shooting this film, I just got finished shooting the first scene of it today, now that I had some testing done yesterday on the, uh, on the Ninja 2, it's all running. We're certainly not fishing today, <laughs> with all the thunder and lightning, that's why I'm just chilling out. That's one other thing I do kind of like about the Panasonic cameras is they are fully weather sealed. But and I want to get as as I want. It's not about image quality. It's about image quantity. I want to preserve as much data off the sensor as possible. And I also have a recorder, an audio recorder. This is my Tascam DR40, and um, it it can record broadcast quality audio, which is 24 bit at what 48k or whatever something like that and I'm recording that to here separately uh, I'm not recording it now for talking head videos like this it's just not worth the time trying to sync everything so I had to go straight into camera with the lavalier but uh, for the film everything is going to be the audio is coming through this thing because it is so much better audio than what you'll hear here but uh, that's the Ninja 2 and I'm enjoying it. See ya.